Hi guys, so I'm back today with an unboxing of my um, my Tiffany purse. So I bought this purse on Fifth Avenue in New York City um, at the Tiffany store. So I was super excited about going to New York. Um, my boyfriend planned a surprise weekend trip to New York for Valentine's Day. I had no idea we were going until we were literally um, at the airport boarding, um, you know, checking in our bags. So it was a wonderful surprise and of course, you know, he knows I love to shop so he surprised me with some shopping. Um, I immediately was like, oh my god, I can't wait to hit Fifth Avenue. And of course, Tiffany was one of those stores that I couldn't wait to see. I was like, man, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, unfortunately, the Blue Box Cafe, that's where they serve the breakfast and lunch, um, was being remodeled because they're like making their flagship store even more grand. Um, so I wasn't able to have breakfast at Tiffany's, but the Tiffany store looked just so, so beautiful. Um, it was multiple floors of shopping. It was decorated for Valentine's Day. The diamonds, the jewelry, everything was just stunning. Um, and everything was just Tiffany blue. Like it was, it was everything you would imagine the Tiffany store would have been like minus, you know, the cafe. Um, so I looked around and I had had my eye on a Tiffany bag for some time now. A lot of people are like, oh, I didn't even know Tiffany made purses. Um, but I did. And I don't know how I found out. But I had been wanting a tote for quite some time in that beautiful Tiffany blue color. Um, I thought that it would be nice with either all white or a black. Just, you know, just a pop of color and a recognizable color. Um, so... I I think at the time that I wanted that tote, that was the only purse they were making was the tote. And so they've expanded their purse line. It's not um, the ultimate runway fashion of purses uh, look by any means. Like it's not like, oh my God, I got to have that purse based on the look. I bought the purse because of the color. Um, I thought that the color was very signature. I love color. And I wanted a pop of color to wear um, in the spring, summertime, either, like I said, with white or with black, um, just a cute, recognizable color. And, you know, I felt like the Tiffany blue and a person, the Tiffany blue did that for me. Um, so I want to show you guys what I ended up getting. What I ended up getting, sorry. And here it is, you know, they wrapped it for me, of course. Um, and so it's my Tiffany and Company box and the traditional um, gift wrapping that I had on on Fifth Avenue at the Tiffany store. What an experience. Um, and so I'm going to unwrap it with you guys. We're going to do our unboxing together. And I'm going to take the white ribbon off. Keep over it. I'm going to undo the wrapping paper here. And here I have a Tiffany and Company cute little dust bag. And here is my bag. It is my crossbody. Um, it kind of looks like uh, it's camera style. So camera style crossbody. Um, and the strap I'm assuming is in here. Let's open it and see. Yeah, it has the strap in here. So the strap is leather, not ideal because I like chain straps. I think they just look more luxurious, more evening, you know, when the strap is all hardware. This strap is um, leather strap and it's the same color as the bag that Tiffany Blue. Um, so this bag is obviously a daytime bag, even though the leather is really rich, really soft. It's the calfskin grain leather. Um, with the sterling silver Tiffany hardware, it's definitely a daytime bag. Um, just because I don't, I think camera bags are daytime bags anyway. Like I don't look at camera bags and be like, this is really going to put a pizzazz on my outfit. I don't care what the name is. Like to me, camera bags just don't do it. I like flat bags. Like flap is the quintessential, you know, woman's bag to me. So this is a daytime bag. This is a you know, wear it as a shoulder or a crossbody, and the strap is adjustable. Um, and like I said, I just got it so that the color could bring that pop of color. Um, it's standard size camera, I would say about eight inches wide. It's got a nice little amount of room in there, definitely will hold your standard size, you know, 
wallet, like a full size wallet and a phone and keys, lip gloss. That's pretty much all I carry. Um, but I'm not a mini bag lover either. So I feel like the size was decent. The price was $9.75. Um, and then you had to have tax and everything. So it wasn't in the, you know, ridiculously expensive. I mean, if you're into bags, it's on the lower end. If you're not into bags, people, I feel like people who aren't into bags always tend to think that you overpay for bags. But anyway, so I think it's worth the buy. It does have Tiffany and Company um, embossed in really small print in black right here. Um, so, but I, like I said, I think this color is so recognizable. Of course, you know, there are going to be, um, I saw, I did see this color in a lot of designer shops for like the spring. I guess it's one of the colors in for this spring. But, you know, it's never going to be this Tiffany Blue because they have that trademark. It's going to be other colors, but, you know, this is Tiffany Blue. So, um, I am going to wear, definitely going to um, stack up on my silver Tiffany um, jewelry. And I feel like that's what's going to make the color in the bag recognizable. Um, and so, I'm very pleased with my purchase. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed my experience um, shopping at the Tiffany store. I'm so excited about my purchase. Very well packaged. Um, and then, you know, Tiffany takes care of their people, takes care of their people. Like, I, I believe um, that's one of the things that has kept the company afloat is their customer service and their quality diamonds. That's what they're known for. And so I got all types of emails and surveys about my experience and my, my product purchase and my package. And I'm, I'm really um, pleased with my packaging. Actually, I'm going to take my purse out because I'm going to probably wrap my box up and put it on display but I'm really pleased with my packaging um I absolutely love the bag um you know it's a good bag to add to my collection I know that it's not the popular bag it doesn't not what you see on Instagram but it's something that I like and I feel like when you you know you step into you know spending money you have to just buy what you like just buy what you like like I know like everybody likes their you know I guess go to bags is speedy, the YSL and everything, but I'm at the point where I just buy what I like. Like, I don't care. I'm not trying to, I mean, once you start paying a certain amount of money, who are you there to impress? You pay what you pay. And so I just um, buy what you like. I encourage you to do that. I bought something that I like. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, a lot of people say they didn't even know that Tiffany um, carry bags. If you have a Tiffany bag, comment below let me know what you think of your bag let me please um give me a heads up on cleaning tips the sales lady didn't have that for me i worry about that because the leather is like the grain leather is not the smooth leather and the color is so bright and so i'm pretty good on handling my bags but um if you have a tiffany bag and you're familiar with this kind of leather please let me know how to keep the dirt off any repellents um conditioner softeners that you're using how to care for your bags and bag maintenance i definitely want to see that um so yeah thank you for unboxing um, my tiffany bag with me and i'll see you guys next time bye